Explanation of the Evidence at the Pentagon on 9-11, created by Wayne Costey, narrated by David Chandler. Here's the table of contents, and here's the table of contents for chapters 9 to 17. Chapter 16, Porter Goss and the Sonic Boom. A sonic boom is heard in a Porter Goss press conference outside the Capitol. Previously, the timing of the press conference was not known exactly, but we now have the timestamp newscasts that captured the boom and established the time. The significance is that this boom has been asserted by some to be an explosion. There are relevant videos. Porter Goss is at a press conference in the Capitol. Fox 5 captures the boom live at the Pentagon. CBS 9 describes the boom at both the Pentagon and the Washington Mall immediately afterwards. The timing of the boom is 10.10 and 3 seconds, based on the timestamp of the sound in the live broadcast. About this time, rumors of another plane approaching Washington may have prompted a military jet to take off for reconnaissance and cause the boom. Porter Goss Press Conference Bob Graham, Porter Goss, and John Kyle were having breakfast on Capitol Hill with General Ahmed, the alleged money man behind the 9-11 hijackers, the Pakistani ambassador to the United States, Maliha Lodi, and several members of the Senate and House Intelligence Committees. An evacuation notice was given about 9.48 a.m. After the evacuation, people are seen streaming out. Graham is recorded leaving. He heads towards a press conference with aides. The press conference is held outside. At the end of the press conference, he was answering questions followed by a boom. After the boom, a jet aircraft is heard overhead. It would have taken an estimated 10 to 15 minutes to evacuate, walk to assembly area, followed by 10 minutes to make a statement and answer questions. The end of the press conference falls within a range of 20 to 25 minutes after evacuation. This implies a range from 10.08 to 10.13 a.m. The sonic boom, as recorded on the timestamp, is 10.10 and 3 seconds. All of this is consistent. terrorist attack and generally what would the country do well I'm not going to tell you the specifics of that the answer to your question is yes we do have uh, we have considered that uh, this is not a new idea uh, and we have created uh, some defenses against that uh, as you can tell as we speak uh, there's still things going on and uh, I would definitely uh, suggest that we be very alert. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. I think it might be a good idea if we got out of this crowd. Hey, John, Boyd, did you hear that? So Fox 5 captures the boom live. We do have Audrey Barnes back now on the phone. She has a view of the Pentagon. So uh, Audrey, try, yeah, there she is now. So Audrey, tell us where you are and what you can see. Okay, uh, if you look over my shoulder, you can see the Pentagon. It or total. And once again, on the left-hand side of your screen, you are looking at the uh, Tower 2, the first one. This is all New York now. Uh, Michael, Michael, if you can hear me, we just heard another explosion down at the Pentagon building. We just heard another loud explosion down at the Pentagon building just seconds ago. That's our Audrey Barnes, who is standing nearby the Pentagon, saying they heard a second explosion. Audrey, did you see anything since these other attacks have been aerial? Did you see anything flying overhead just before this explosion? We, we can't see exactly where, it, where the source of the explosion was, but you could hear it very clearly with a loud 
boom. And uh, I'm looking for another plume of smoke. I don't see anything right now. It might be still in that same general area where the fire is burning right now. But you can clearly hear another loud explosion. Um, we just heard another explosion. And just from my vantage point, it did not appear to come exactly from the Pentagon, like perhaps a little bit across. So I can't tell you what it is. I'm still looking for a plume of smoke. I haven't seen anything new uh, from this vantage point. So, Audrey, you, you think that there's a possibility that the second sound that you just heard did not come from the, the point of impact or it, the Pentagon itself? It didn't sound like it, okay. but it was a, clearly a very loud explosion in this general area. CBS 9 at both Pentagon and Washington Mall. Let's go back to Dave, who is at the Pentagon another, site. Standard, Dave? Hey, I just heard an, another explosion of some sort. Now, it could be a secondary explosion here from something happening, but we just heard a loud pop just as you were coming to me. It seemed to be on the uh, east of here. I can't tell what it is. It might be something that's secondary to this sure. because we had a number of small explosions after the fire occurred. Uh, again, I can't tell you much more other than a loud pop just a few minutes ago that seemed a little bit different, a little bit different than uh, um, the ones we heard earlier, which were on the outside here that could have been tires or something else. Let's go to Frank Herzog, who is near one of the most visible monuments in the city, the Washington Monument. Frank, what do you see? What do you hear? I'm on the west grounds of the Washington Monument. The area has been completely evacuated by park police, and I think I could answer Dave Statter's question about that secondary explosion. Yes. It wasn't an explosion. That was the sonic boom of jet fighters that were scrambled out of Andrews Air Force Base, we believe. Mm -hmm. They just circled the Washington area, flying from the east out to the west, and they were in a hurry, and they were high up in the air. So jet fighters, at least one, possibly two, were scrambled, probably as a precautionary measure. Needless to say, downtown Washington, D.C., except for the vehicular traffic, which is bumper to bumper, the rest of the city has been shut down. It looks like a Sunday morning here. The mall is absolutely empty. Park police came through about 10 minutes ago, evacuated the entire area, and told tourists to go somewhere else. But I can tell you right now that at least one, if not two, jet fighters have been scrambled. They are patrolling the skies over Washington. Observations. The boom in the three clips must be the same. It occurs at 10.10.03 and cannot be a local explosion. It is corroborated to occur at the same time by Fox 5 and CBS News. To be an explosion heard in both locations, it would require an absolutely enormous blast. The sound wave would have a different character as an echo. Other accounts of the sonic boom include George Amon, I went outside and we were standing up here watching down there, watching it burn. I'm watching the sky. I'm watching the sky and I hear two sonic booms. I said, oh God, here they come. Major Craig Collier. While moving, we heard a sonic boom and moments later an F-16 buzzed the Pentagon. We wondered if we were about to witness an American fighter shoot down a civilian passenger aircraft before our eyes. Here are the various sources where you can find the videos, either on YouTube or on archive.org. In Chapter 17, we will consider the Citizen Investigation Team interviews.